In today's video, I want to share with you some simple $3 hacks that have been helping my patients get fast and easy relief from sciatica. Now, here's why this is important. I see so many of my patients reaching for pain medication at the first sign of sciatica. Now, while sometimes pain relief is necessary, it's always better to get to the root cause if you can. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Hey, I'm Dr. Mario from Vitality Semaphore in South Australia, and for the past quarter of a century, we've helped tens of thousands of people improve their spinal health and kiss goodbye to back and neck pain with natural chiropractic care. There are many causes to sciatica, arthritis, bulging discs, stiff and stuck joints. Regardless of the cause of your sciatica, spinal experts like spinal surgeons, chiropractors and physiotherapists are recommending a minimum of six to eight weeks of conservative care before you even think about surgery. One of the most common causes of sciatica is stiff and stuck joints. We call them subluxations and these are associated with tight muscles in the lower back and the lumbar spine. It can also go right into your buttocks. Now both of these muscular and joint dysfunction respond really well to self massage. One of my favorite tools for that is a $3 tennis ball. Some of my patients like to use lacrosse balls and spiky balls as long as it's not too hard. A ball about this size can be fantastic to use for self massage. Now just a heads up before you get started with self massage it's okay and it's probably likely that it might cause some discomfort. Many of my patients often refer to this as a good sort of pain. Now while some discomfort while doing this exercise is okay, it should never hurt so much that it actually takes your breath away. If you find it difficult to breathe while you're doing this or the pain is too much to handle, then either lighten off a little or try working above or below the area that's really, really painful. Now there are three spots that you want to work on while trying to help your sciatic pain. Each of these is really easy to do. I like to do them standing against the wall. Now the first spot to work at is in along your lumbar spine. So this is just to the side of the actual backbones down the lower part of your back. Stand up against the wall and use your pressure to push back against the ball. Now remember, a little bit of a discomfort is okay. And in fact, what you're actually doing is you're searching for those tight tender spots. You might even find that when you're pressing on some of these spots, it actually increases the sciatica down your leg. That's okay, just be gentle with it as well. So up and down, search for the tight spots. Maybe even try to wriggle it left and right. Now the second spot that you actually want to get into is in along one of the pelvic joints. We call this the sacroiliac joint. So this is just out from the center of your pelvis and again, pushing your back flat against the wall. Up and down, a little wiggle, left and right. You're moving the tennis ball up and down about five, maybe 10 centimeters at tops. And again, when you find those tender stops, stop on them and increase the pressure a little bit and then wriggle around. Now, the third spot you're going to get into is deep into the buttocks. And this one here, rather than pressing it flat against the wall, you kind of want to press against the wall on a little bit of an angle. In fact, we're looking at working the muscle deep inside of your buttocks, a muscle we call the piriformis. This is often one of the big players when it comes to sciatica. So again, we're going to work in and around that area, deep in the middle of your butt, up and down and around some circles. You'll notice that my legs are kind of angled back so I can push in quite firmly against the wall here as well. Now, just an important point here, if you're using a spiky ball, this can sometimes mark your wall, just so you know. So you might want to make sure that you have something against the wall here so that it doesn't matter whether it gets damaged or not. Now, many of my patients will start to see relief within as little as 24 hours of starting these exercises, but it can take up to two or three days. If you can do these exercises every hour, great. Probably don't need to do it that much, but you can if it's giving you relief. If you're not seeing results within two to three days, then an examination with someone like a chiropractor might be a really good idea. Like I mentioned earlier on, we've been helping patients for over a quarter of a century and we see great results depending on case to case and what we find. If you need help with your sciatica, let us know. Generally responds well to chiropractic care as well as any other conservative care you might want to try, you can contact us on 8242 1581. Hopefully we can help you say goodbye to your sciatica and a healthier back 